is Nippon from Nippon Studios and today we are going to do an extremely awesome coolness of After Effects tutorials I know it might sound not as it looks like but I think this tutorial will help you and guide you through this process peacefully I guess and successfully yeah alright so let's take a look Started. Okay, first of all, you have to have a footage of a surface of water. Alright, okay. So, what I'm having here, just, you know, filming the water, the surface of water, as you can see here. Alright, so when it begins, the water is pretty still, right? But suddenly, then there's a little bit of shaking and then you could see like the water is sort of like wobbling or something like that okay so what we need we just you know drag it down and just try to find which part that you like you know let's say only that so i'm going to right click and trim come to area right okay uh, and the next part we are going to do is track motion okay so what I'm going to do is right click new and no object alright so I'm gonna click on my footage here and then go to track motion okay and then I'm gonna find wherever that could be useful there okay and the other place would be here alright perfect then maybe do a scale too for the sake of tracking you know alright and then just click analyze forward and it might take a little bit of time or a lot of bit of time it depends on how much details that you wanna track alright okay and when it's done then we just make sure to click on edit target and make it no one and yes it does and then hit ok alright and then hit apply and ok alright so what we have here it's no object stick onto our scene perfectly great alright and the next thing is I'm going to do a title okay or a text okay so what I'm going to do is just right click new text and in this case yes it's going to be Nippon Studio something like that you know it depends on wherever you want however you want okay so I'm going to make a color sort of like bluish let's say you know so you could find a cool font that you want or whatever but that's not the point of this tutorial okay you know but the point is to make our text or our title to get effects by water okay so after when I did this alright let's do it brown something like that okay so after that when I did that yes I'm going to parent it to null object okay so let's shut that off and see okay that's kind of cool actually right so and the other thing is you could do an out stroke on a uh, title and that could be fine too all right and but well, I'm going to change the font here okay now I'm happy all right and the next thing is we're going to duplicate our footage okay so just click ctrl D and there you go and just put it above on every layers okay and then we'll go back to FX and preset and go to key and let's try linear color key alright and then I'll hit on dark color and then you know just try and working on try to get that right and alright that could be fine right let's try it cool alright then and then just locked it and the way that I do the shadow is you know just 
uh, dupli duplicate on your title here. All right, and shut that off. And let's turn this one into color. It's black. Okay, something like that. And let's move it just a little bit. Something like that. It depends on however you want it, okay? All right, and also we are going to uh, put some uh, custom blur here. All right, to make it not too, you know, sharp. All right, something like that. And also low down the opacity. Let's say 40. Good, right? Quite nice. Maybe a little bit down, 30. Okay. All right. Okay, and the next thing is we are going to do our text now. Okay, now as we can see here from this point or this second, the water is start to shake and move, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to uh, name it, let's say main. Okay, and this one is shadow, so we're not going to get confused. All right. Okay. So we're going to use this effects which is distort and ripple. Okay, just drag it down. Something like that. So, let's solo it, okay? And see. So, you see nothing here yet because the radius is turned down to 0. So, let's turn that up. Alright, so as you can see now, it's, it's our text is sort of moving now, okay, but maybe not yet, right? So let's unsolo it and see where it start to shake and moving, which is there, okay? So, but as you can see here, the ripple has this option, which is center of ripple. So that mean is wherever it start till... So as we can see here, it start moving from there, around that place, okay? So we are going to click on that and click on that, okay, wherever the force came from. Alright, something like that. And as you can see here, we could playing up with uh, wave speed, you know, how fast that would be, and width which is like how much wave do you want okay all right and also height okay something like that you know so just playing around with these settings okay and there okay and let's say it start from here right so let's keyframe on it all right, and then come back to where there's nothing happened yet and bring it down to zero. Okay, and let's see. There you go. As you can see now, it's moving along, but don't you think it's too fast? Yes, let's slow it down a little bit. All right, something like that could be fine. Alright, let's open it up and see, you know, and maybe let's make the radius, make it higher. Alright, that's cool. Alright, and the other thing you have to think about it is when the water is start to shake and there's a wave, and then the wave go all the way from here and hits here. And that means the wave going to start to hit back, right? So, we are going to put another ripple on it, okay, and place it over here as a, I don't know, what is it called? It could be like aftershock or shock wave or bouncing wave. Oh, that's right. Yeah, bouncing wave. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to put this up that much. Okay. All right. All right, okay, but first of all, it has to came after when the wave hits here. Okay, so I'm going to keyframe it and let's shut it off and let's see. 
there you go as you can see now it's a wave coming from here and then it's bouncing back this direction okay so that just little details okay I mean you could do from here and from here but there's not really anything effect on this side or that side okay I mean I'm not a scientist but yeah you 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 do your thing whatever you want <laughs> all right okay and the other thing is we have to do also the shadow too right okay so I'm just going to hold on shift and control C as copy and I have to also line it up like like there right there okay and click on our shadow and paste it on okay so you have to make sure that it's perfectly lined it up at the same time okay yep something like that could be great now we done with our text now so after that would be a detail time right okay so what I'm going to do is right click new and make a adjustment layer right and then I'm going to apply glow effects alright just drag it down and let's turn the threshold down just a little bit and put radius up intensity down just in touch alright alright something like that so the goal of this glow effects is so we could have the light that also affects our text okay let's see without glow now you can see and there as you can see here it's very little tiny different but that just make a big difference okay alright I don't know what I'm saying but yeah anyway alright so there now you have it you know just so now you could just you know put a bars on it black bar something like that and do another adjustment layer on top of it and do some color correction okay so I'm just going to drag color balance on and then you know just adjust whatever you want you know it depends on you it's your choice anyway alright and then just you know turn on motion blur and that you know that could be it okay so thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope this would help especially for this guy who's asking me I know I'm not gonna say his name but but I'm pleased by his kindness alright okay so I'll see you guys next time God bless you bye bye